so I just wanted to document this. Um, I looked in the mirror for the first time today in 22 days. And it wasn't because I felt like I had to. It was more just because I was straightening my hair and I didn't know what I was doing. But I loved her. I loved what I saw. I love what she has become. And I'm really excited for what lies ahead. It worked. It happened. I never thought there'd be a day where I looked at the mirror and I just smiled at her. Where I saw the light in her and I saw the life in her. It's pretty incredible. I'm so thankful I said yes. And I'm so beyond thankful for what God did through me, within me in all of this. And I'm incredibly excited for what comes next. So today is a really, really good day. Um, I thought it was just gonna be enough just from that mirror look, from that first glance. But it just got better. I told someone that when I did something, it meant, um, it meant the disorder was over. That once this happened, it was it. The end, period, end of sentence, a new beginning, a new chapter. Today I did that. It may sound like a really silly thing, but I always said that once I ate a chocolate chip pancake, it would be it. That was always my recovery food. It was a thing that I just dreamt of the most, that I wanted the most. It always tastes so good, but I never let myself have it for 17 and a half years. Today I got it. And the best part was I didn't care. I didn't sit there trying to calculate the calories in it. I didn't sit there worrying about what I'll do to my body tomorrow or how to fit this into a meal plan or what to cut back to make room for this. I woke up actually really excited to have it. No fear at all. I didn't think that day would come. And here it is. I gotta tell you, that was the best bite of food I've ever taken in my life. And I'm sure it will always be that. Because I know how much I had to fight for that bite. I know what that bite represents. That I may have been one yes to go eat those pancakes. But the amount of yeses those pancakes held, I'll never know. Because now it's, now life is limitless. There's no boundaries to it. If I want to go out and eat with friends, I can't. I want to just go eat at a restaurant, do something, not be so rigid. It's, it's possible because I saw I could do it and I enjoyed doing it. And even after I had them, I was like, I didn't care. That was, I didn't care. There were no thoughts. It was silence. And I just got to enjoy it and savor it and celebrate the fact that the day is here, that God did it, that I made it. It's an incredible day. It's an incredible life. 
and I just keep falling more and more in love with it. So, um, I don't know when I'll show this video. It's something that's very personal. I want to make sure that, um, that that part of the journey gets respected. I don't want it to be minimized, what just happened today. Because what happened today, while it may seem like to one person, it's just a pancake. That was, was life. Those two pancakes were my future. It's always the small things that are going to make the most difference in your life. So I think from now on, every butterfly day is going to be chocolate chip pancake day. Wherever I am, I will come back to that place where the person who had them with me can get pancakes. Because I can think of no other way to celebrate and mark that transformation. And I gotta say, literally, victory never tasted so sweet. So, um, it is my second full day, truly, of embracing being a butterfly. And I gotta say, I absolutely love it. <laughs> Why did I wait so long to do this? Why was I holding out for this? I don't know. Because now that I'm tasting it and experiencing it, I wish I was doing this for years because it's incredible. I'm just so thankful that it finally has happened, that I get to call this life mine. I did not realize how void of life I was until all of this. The amount of life these wings have given me has been incredible. The colors I see in life, everything is brighter. Everything's more hopeful and everything's more exciting. Now I just wake up seeing what I can say yes to, what challenges are there. I'm just now on this kick where I'm just going to say yes to everything and just see where it takes me. Because I look at the power, the yes for that whole 21 day challenge held. And I see where it got me. And I don't want to hold back anymore. I don't want to say no. This life is incredible. And it's only been two days. But the things I've come to experience, the things I've come to see and feel, beyond words, amazing. And I'll be honest, it's not, I did look in the mirror, full on of my body. I didn't fall in love with my body. I, I mean, honestly, I did not sit there and think like, that it was okay because there were still some things I'm like eh, I wish I could change that but here's the difference I saw it but I didn't care I just didn't care what I saw was not going to stop my yeses from coming it wasn't gonna stop what I was gonna do and the challenges I was gonna face I'm not willing anymore to sacrifice my life and the size of it for a certain size pair of jeans <laughs> or to be a certain weight, it's not worth it. Because I look at yesterday and I was eating that chocolate chip pancake and I'm thinking that that is what life is about. Life is about experiences, first time doing things that will forever change your life. It's about being bold. <laughs> 
and loving it and laughing through it and enjoying everything life has to offer. Life is not about if you can fit in the smallest size of jeans there are. Life is not about a number on a scale or how little you can eat. Those things do not mean strength to me anymore and they do not mean that I have willpower anymore. I felt more empowered and stronger sitting there eating those pancakes than I did ever being able to deny myself food for days. Because that is strength. To say no to every thought that wanted to come in. To have overcome 17 and a half years of fearing that and just doing it. So I don't know what comes next, but I am incredibly excited. And whatever may come, however my body may change, I'm going to trust God through it all. Because he knows, he knows what I need to be to move forward. He knows how he designed me to live fully. And that I trust. He's gotten me this far. There is no saying how far he's going to take me now.